What's up guys and welcome to my first time playing Monsters of Etheria. Okay, um, anyway, why is there a spring event? It's December 31st. <laughs> okay, we have Chex here. Welcome to Monsters of Etheria, here at NESM1, right? My name is Chex. And I'd be happy to show you around. Would you like to learn the basics? You can always come back to this later. Sure. This is the main hub for the game. Here, you can see your friends list, your daily tasks, and join a game mode. First, let's check out your friends list. Click the button indicated on your screen. Good job. Here you can join any of your friends currently playing the game. I have none because I am playing this for the first time. You can also invite your friends to play with you. Next, we will check out your daily tasks. Click the button indicated on your screen. Great, here you can see your daily tasks. You can get one new task every 24 hours. Completing these tasks earns you credits, the currency of Etheria. Now click the home button to return to the mode selection screen. Here, you can choose a game mode to play. You can swap modes at any time while playing. This is an open world fighting game, so you'll find that players cannot damage each other in roleplay servers while things get more chaotic in RP servers. That's the end of this tutorial. If you want to review a tutorial, check the settings menu once you join a game mode. Have fun. So, we're gonna go ahead and hop into RP. Because, well, I've never played the game before. I don't, yeah. I'm fine with that. Alright. Welcome to Etheria. This is an open world fighting roleplay game. To learn how to start unlocking Etherians, I recommend you take this tutorial. Sure. Lock the Etherian boxling. Looks so like we need to search through boxes and barrels to unlock this Etherian. Let's get started. Quick. Explore in the list. Hold on a second. My got some wire issues. Explore. You should notice that a button labeled play up here. And spawn as an explorer? Oh, the lord. Okay, we got some lag as it loads in. Great, now you search through some boxes and barrels. These have been marked for you. In the barrel, we we found the key. There we go. There is the boxling that we get. All right, let's see if you unlock. Let's see if you unlock boxling. What? It said we found one. I would assume we did. So now we can spawn as a boxling. Tackle Leer and Splash. Okay, cool. It's in here. Empty. Great. Empty. Great. Ability of Timid. Um, we have HP 30, 13, speed 31, attack 7, defense 8, energy 6, uh, rest 7? Autumn. Autumn the Magician. So let's see if we can actually, let's look at the hat. Well, who are they to tell me what to do? Okay, so now we've gone to a different area. What is, what is that on the ground? That leveled up? No. What do you mean? How do I how do I close this menu? Hey, someone wants to be a bully and just pick on 
Oh, we we do front flips as we go. Empty barrel again. We found we get a key. Oh, wonder what those are gonna be for. Empty, empty, empty. Box going for a swim does not seem like the best. We found a seashell, she sells seashells by the seashore. You know, stuff like that. Um, it's, it's open world, they said, right? So I can just... We've, we harvested some berries. This reminds me of Ark, which I did play once with the friends. It was way too laggy, and I didn't have recording software at the time. But, um... I don't know, maybe I'll make a video on that. There's a pumpkin patch over here. Can we harvest some pumpkins? Indeed we can. So let's just rob this guy. Whoever whoever owns this farm is going to be really mad tomorrow. Okay, so that's how moves work. Howdy, stranger, named Montana, and I'm on the hunt for a tarby. It recently stole one of my tools. It loves meshing with me since I'm a farmer. Would you be able to get it back? Much appreciated, stranger. Tarby are known to return items in exchange for food. I found this particular tarby who loves rice. Good luck. All right, so we need to find rice, and then a tarabi. I don't know what that is. We can't jump high enough for that. Dude, the, you see the music though? Kinda nice. This is like an, un, this is an unturned farm. No. Who knows, maybe they took that from they used that asset from someone else. So we got a windmill up here. What's we got some uh empty, of course it is. Cheese quarter, I'll take it. Oh, we can't actually, you know, get up in them. I think now is a good time to bring up something that a tragedy that happened. So Pixelmon is going to be on a very long hiatus because I uh, accidentally loaded the world in 1.18, thus getting rid of my entire, getting rid of all my progress. The well is empty. I don't think I'm going to make a very long video of this because I thought it was something else. And I do not know what to do right now with life. This looks important. This is a portal to somewhere. I feel like I've seen this world before on some other game. But for now, I'm going to end the episode here. So, hope you enjoyed a really quick look at Monsters of Etheria. And now if you liked it, go ahead leave a like it helps out and i'll see you all next time